Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Crash 4. This time I'm going to take you through the inverted version of No Dillo Dallion. If you're like me, this is your final inverted stage. Okay, so coming up here, don't forget about these four crates, and suck up these four crates as well. Once you're on the food truck, you should have 37 to 502 crates. Then we can make our way over here, just spinning on these, and don't forget to suck up the ones sort of to our left and right as we make our way over. Okay, we're going to spin away these two bats, suck up this stack, get the ones on the left, and then we can use this TNT barrel to blow up those boxes. Don't forget to blow up the nitro bat over here. It's very helpful. Okay, you can just let the bats run into you. You don't have to worry about jumping on them. I'm gonna suck up these crates, blow up this stack of nitro, come over here, grab the TNT, and instead of blowing up the stack of nitro, we're gonna use it to blow up these three crates here. It's much easier to do this. If you aren't able to do this and you accidentally blow the nitro and miss them, you can actually float over using the vacuum onto those three crates from this street. It is possible to get them as late as you want, but it's just easier to get them with that TNT. If you're lucky, there's an Aku mask here. Uh, one of the enemies, as it's moving away, or sort of getting spun away or blown up, it can break that box and you'll never even know the Aku mask is there. Uh, for some reason, it was always there for me on the inverted version of the stage, but never, with the exception of once or twice, uh, there for me on the normal version of the stage. So I have a feeling it has something to do with the way the camera is angled and it's sort of causing things to happen in a certain way. In any event, you want to use the TNT barrels to blow up the nitros on the uh, next platform each time. So just like this. Great. Make your way over, break these three crates, and then you can ignore this TNT for now, jump over to the food truck, and then suck up the three boxes on each side for a total of six. Now you want to grab the TNT, and then jump, let go of R2, and then hit X again to float with the vacuum. So 230 crates at this point. Jump over, kill this guy. The hidden gem is in the crash section of the stage, so you don't have to worry about jumping onto those hidden bounce boxes like before. Okay, using this TNT, blow up these nitro, and then move over. Okay, and then I like to be very safe here, and I like to blow up all the nitro. This makes for a nice even box count at the end of the uh, dingo dial section. There's three more on the final conveyor belt, but you can reach them from the first. Just hop along the conveyor belts using the TNT to blow up that stack right there. Okay, pick up the TNT, and then we can hop over here to safety so we can carefully break this stack here. And then we can just sweep away this guy, and then we need to use this TNT to break two more stacks of nitro. So you can just jump over here to do it safely. Great. And then you can blow this guy up or just sweep him, depending on how you feel. Use the... TNT to do it ourselves. For some reason, it's taking a second to suck that up. Don't know what that was about. All right, so suck up the final TNT, blow the last stack of nitro, and you should have 330 crates at the end of the dingo dial section. All right, so the hidden gem is behind us, and this is the second instance uh, that we need to backtrack. Just do a sliding jump straight forward, and then you're going to jump onto this platform with a double jump and grab the hidden gem. The only other time you gotta backtrack in a stage, I think it's Potion Commotion. It's really the only time that you gotta backtrack in an inverted stage for a gem. Right, so jumping up here, we're gonna double jump to grab this box. And this section's really tough. You just want to constantly be moving forward on the food truck. You always wanna be at the front. Even if that means you know, you're crawling through a tight space, keep crawling and pushing forward until you're at the very edge of the food truck. It's really the only way you're gonna be able to do this uh, perfectly. Okay, so once you're ready, this is when things really get started. Once the food truck is below you, jump and then belly flop down. Spin this arrow box, it's pointless. Jump up and then get these two, great. Trigger this TNT, double jump up here, bounce off. You can see me crawling forward there. So just jump over these nitro, crawl forward, jump, spin these on your way down, crawl forward. Then you gotta do a long double jump up here, crawl forward, do a crouching double jump, slide, bounce up, crawl forward, jump, and then spin. Just always try to get to the front of the food truck. That's really the trick. Okay, so right here, it's very easy to forget to trigger these TNT. Make sure you step on one of the triggers to blow them up. I forgot those so many times and reached the end and was furious. Okay, so as of this checkpoint, you should have 430 crates. And then you wanna do the same thing you did before. Just go down this stream backwards. This gives you the most control and gives you the most time to correct any mistakes. Uh, but once you reach the bottom here, anything you have forgotten prior to this point is unfortunately gone and you'll have to die and redo it. Okay, so 
once we break this box, we're gonna just go at normal speed. Okay. Gonna grab a second Aku Mask to help us out. Breaking any boxes along the way. On the sort of flat part of the stream, you can backtrack if you need to, so don't be afraid. You can basically do that on any non-waterfall or section or close to a waterfall. From here, we're gonna break these first two boxes and then just go to the sides of the ramp for these next two, just like that. Great. Hop up over here, break this, say hello to trash, and then follow the trail as you make your way down very carefully. Okay, and then you want to just hug the right here. There's a couple nitro boxes in the water now. Be very careful as you're breaking these last 12 crates. Hit the nitro switch on your way out for the last 31 boxes. Grab the gem. And if, like me, this was your final inverted stage, congratulations on finding every single last gem. You got the King of Bling trophy, or backwards, as well as backwards and forwards. So again, congratulations. If you still have more to go, I have guides for every single level on my channel, both the normal and inverted versions. And that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Crash 4, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. Still got more to come. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.